Hello, Joy Interviews readers. Hello, Richard. How are you? I'm very well. How are you doing? I'm okay. Uh, if you don't know, I'm Joanna Longava. I'm the founder of the Joy Interviews magazine and the editor in chief. Um, and because of coming soon, the fifth anniversary of JL Interviews, I decided to organize these very short Zoom interviews with our stars, our guests. The first is Richard Blanchard. Richard, <laughs> are you excited? <laughs> you yeah, well, I think so. It'd be <laughs> interesting. I hope so. Yeah, and um, well, uh, let's remember some facts from Richard's life, if you don't know. He is an orchestra man. Uh, he is uh, a British cinematographer, photographer, director of photography, film director, singer, musician, everything. Did I miss something, Richard? <laughs> no, I think you've got everything there. <laughs> Okay, um, and you worked, uh, that's also very interesting, uh, during your career you worked with uh, Bertolucci, Herzog, and you photographed very, very famous people like um, Mick Jagger, Naomi Campbell, Arnold Schwarzenegger, The Beatles, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, I, that was kind of, I was the official photographer for the Cannes Film Festival for over 20 years so uh, that uh, that was how I ended up photographing them but I also worked on movies as a stills photographer so I photographed a lot of the big stars during production on, on movies and stuff. Yeah well Richard so uh, let's start the question I have five questions to, to you. Uh, the first is um, well how is now the situation in London? Uh, is COVID-19 um, around um, well how do you feel about this COVID and the virus uh, slowly we're kind of uh, it's becoming getting back to some kind of normality we've got another from Monday we can travel on the trains uh, more freely but we have to wear masks um, I've been going into London because I've been doing some finishing a film so I've been going in and doing uh, some sound and grading some coloring of a movie a, a documentary that we've just finished but we're doing everything remotely we have to kind of be very aware of uh, being close to people uh, but on the train going into london there's nobody on it it was it's and the, you walk around london it's like a ghost town empty yeah yeah, yeah i remember your picture yes yes here in rome we were we, we had the same now it's quite better but uh, you said a little bit about your work uh, remotely. It's, it's quite difficult in your case, but tell me um, how, how exactly the virus changed this work, your work? Well, if you're making films, it's very difficult not to be near people. And so um, to put a distance between you and somebody else, if you're doing, and if you're making a, a, a drama or a feature film, if there's a, a love scene, there's no way that people can be two meters apart. And also there's always four people around a camera, three to four people. So the problem is that we, we are getting some guidance now how you can make films uh, at a distance, but the problem is there's no insurance for COVID. So, and you can't make, you can't make production without insurance, having insurance. So exactly. in, one, in one way they're saying we have a solution, but they ha until they have a solution for insurance, nothing is going to happen and also people aren't planning they no one is thinking about they're taking day by day think they're changing their mind by the day so no one is thinking what's happening in two months three months time so people aren't making plans for for things in the future because they know every day something changes yes it's true so maybe but it's very um, it's very frustrating because i think mm. in some ways people have become very negative uh, there's not many positive, there's not a lot of positive thinking going on because people pe keep getting told different things. So they're very confused. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But well, anyway. I'm sure, I mean, it's, it's a question of time, I think, you know, but yes. um, so up till now, uh, I think the film industry, the big, the big studios and the Netflix, 
they are covering their own insurance, so it's fine. But it's the level of films that I kind of get involved in, which involve TV companies or uh, documentaries for cinema, that if they can't get insured, then we can't make them. And also, if we're making it for the cinema, no one can go to the cinema at the moment. So it's, it's, it's just confusing. Well, it's true, it's true. But do you still have uh, some projects for the future? Maybe, you know, uh, well, without well, the date, but uh, something that you're working on? Well, there's this, I have three things at the moment, which I've, I've, uh, I have a, a film that I've been making over two years, I've uh, been director of photography on, in Israel and Palestine. So that is near finishing now. So um, the post-production, so mm -hmm. that, will, that will come out. They, that was due to go into big film festivals and suddenly all the film festivals aren't happening. Yeah. So that, that, that's ready to go. Um, the film I'm just finishing at the moment, I'm exec producing, um, which has been shot in India. So that, we have to deliver that film to the distributor in the next two weeks. So that's, that will be coming, coming up. And I, uh, over Christmas time, just before Christmas, I went to India to film for Werner Herzog for his new project for Apple TV called Fireball about meteorites. So that is now in final post-production ready. So there's three projects which are ready to go out. Um, but as far as future projects, we're talking about things, but um, because people aren't making any, dis any decisions at the moment, all we can do is talk about them um, and discuss them, but no one is actually saying, yes, go ahead, do anything at the moment. So it's, it's frustrating, but you try and keep, a think of, keep thinking of good ideas, that's all you can do. And then hopefully when things get better, people will be a bit more positive. Yes, I hope it will happen soon, you know, for you and for all the, all the world. Yeah, I mean, just, you know, this, the film industry in the UK is one of the biggest um, money-making machines for yeah. the UK. So it's a big problem. And everybody's freelance. So if you're freelance, you, you don't have any payment. You don't get any, you know, you get a little help, but you can't, um, you can't go and take money from the government every week. Um, but so we're all, we, we, there's nothing we can do. We're, we're trapped at the moment. Yeah. Well, so, but, but anyway, everything will be good. Well, yeah. finger crossed for everything. Yeah. I, I think it just, like, like you said, it's the questions of time. So yeah, and we're all in this, we all have the same problem. It's the world, it's not just us. So, you know, yeah, that makes you exactly. feel a little better. Yeah. So let's forget for a while about the situation and tell me, uh, like we said, you, you're doing lots of things. You are director, photographer, uh, and uh, lots of, and, and more. How do you manage to do all these jobs together? How do you do this? Well, I'm not able to do many of them together at the moment. Even with music, we can't get, musicians can't get to, together in the same room. We can't go into recording studios. So uh, we are, there's an album that I've played I did, I've done some tracks, I've played on some tracks from an album and that's about to be, I think that's about to be released. Um, but doing any live concerts or playing live. On Zoom. <laughs> yeah, but it's not, but it's not the same. Yeah. And also I think, you know, I think everyone that's done Zoom really well has a lot of great technical people doing stuff to make it sound great. Uh, I wouldn't want to put something on Zoom that doesn't sound Good. It's not going to be good for anybody. But um, no, it's you know, still, still, still thinking about playing and writing music and stuff. But um, it's you know, it's quite hard to not to not to, to get your motivation at the moment. And I know, you, I know. If you have something to work towards, then you know there's the goal to go towards. But there's no goal at the moment. There's no there's no one to to uh, way to distribute it to get it to people. So, but you know. So, I know, I know. I, I, I really understand you. We all, all the same. But uh, in the end, the, 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 the last question, maybe um, you have a message or, or just or advice or some reflections about this during period, uh, pandemic period, um, and you would like to say something to our readers? 
Um, well, I think, you know, I think in some ways it's been interesting because as we're like we're doing now with Zoom, I mean, it's, a, it's another way that we can keep in contact and we can try and keep positive and we can share ideas and thoughts. It's never the same as being in the same room with somebody else, but at least we have, we're so lucky we've got uh, social networking. If we didn't have that, it in this period, us, yeah. <laughs> I think we'd all be going, we'd all be going crazy. But I mean, I think if we can find a way of being more um, interactive and exchanging, using this technology to come up with interesting ideas, discussing things with each other, so that at some point we can do them. I think the biggest problem is if we just switch off and we don't, you know, we, we, we become negative. So we've got, you know, the most important thing is that everyone tries to look for the, the bright side, not the dark side during this period, you know. And also sometimes in these periods when you have a problem, extraordinary things happen. People, they become creative in a different way. So music changes, filmmaking will have to change. We might start making films in a, when we do start again. They will be different kinds of films that, and, and interesting films for this period. And people will look back on this period and go, oh, these were the films they made in the COVID period. Yeah. And they, were, they were very different because they had to be different. And the music's different because we can't be in the same studio, but we have to work in a different way. So, you know, it's, it's like when punk music started, it came out of nowhere and everyone went, whoa, where's this? But it, it came because of, you know, out of, out of problems, interesting, creative things sometimes emerge for people. Yeah, but do you think the world will change in good or in bad after this experience? I hope, I hope it will be good. I hope people, I, I think people, well, I, I think people have to think their priorities in their head to check will change now. Things that you thought were important now going through this period, you actually go, well, that's not important. This is more important, my family, my friends. Yeah, yeah, the priorities, um, yes. And I think, I think that will make people uh, look again on their priorities in life, basically. Uh, and when it's something is life-threatening, it makes you think about your everyday differently, doesn't it? If there's a, something that actually could take you out of this life, you suddenly have to, you appreciate other simple things you start appreciating more, I think. Um, but so, you know, it's, it's strange, you know, it's, 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 it's hard sometimes to, you get disorientated, I think, you know, because you, you miss having that face-to-face -face situation with someone and it's, you know, ideas when you're in the same room with someone. Yes, or, it's, it's another thing. Electricity. Sometimes the electricity in Zoom is not there. It's, you're detached. Exactly. Well, yes, but... I hope it will change very soon, really. Yeah, well, okay, I hope it for you as well, you know. Yes, it's the same. Even with you, I would prefer, you know, to have a coffee in London yeah. <laughs> and not, not to talk on Zoom. But it's, it's anyway, we, we have to do what we can to do now and then it, everything will, will go back to the normality, I hope so. I certainly yeah. hope so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Richard, it was a really great pleasure uh, and honor to have you here on, on Zoom. And thank you for, for being with us. No, thank you. And keep your magazine going. Keep it going. That's what you have to do is use this yes. time and keep we your magazine We will survive. Going. We will survive. And to all the readers, please follow us. And soon, very soon, we will, we will meet another beautiful person uh, from our interviews. Okay, thank you, Richard. Care. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye-bye.